I think it's fair to say this is probably a big season for him. It's the, the third season at, at Liverpool. He's come in for a, a huge amount of, of money. I wanted to, to touch on uh, Darwin Nunez as well. I think it's it's fair to say he was was one of the, the stories from last night's game in Leipzig. Obviously, unfortunate for Diogo Jota that he's picked up the injury, but that gives an opportunity for Nunez to come in and make a bit of a, a difference. Um, what did you make of, of his performance? I thought it was interesting pretty much that Honest Lot said, you know, he wants to see the same off the ball work as against Chelsea, but with a couple of goals as well. He obviously did manage to, to get onto the score sheet. And I guess it's just mm-hmm. a case of doing that again and, and making sure that that's the, the consistent Darwin Nunez that we see for the next few weeks, really. Is that the, the next step for him, do you think? Yeah, I was really impressed with him, obviously, when he came on uh, against Chelsea and he really put himself about in that game and his hold-up play, I thought, was 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 excellent. Um, he, he was a real threat, I think, in that area, the pitch where he was able to kind of link up play really well. And, yeah, I, I think he kind of brought that into the Leipzig game and I was quite impressed. I think the, the few starts of the Hazard uh, so far this season, I have been quite impressed. I think there was the, the, the Bournemouth game as well, wasn't there, where he got his goal. Um but yeah, he was putting himself about, I think, quite well last night. And obviously, he nearly won a penalty. Obviously, that that got chalked off um, by VAR. Um, but yeah, he just seemed a bit of a threat. And I think that's probably what the manager wants from him. Um, I read an interview with him before the manager where he kind of challenged him to, to go out and get himself a goal. And that was the only thing, I think, missing against Chelsea that maybe... You know, them opportunities didn't really spring up for him in that game. There was more for, for Curtis Jones for, for whatever reason. Um, he seemed to be getting kind of the lion's share of the chances in that game. But yeah, he, he just seemed a, a massive threat. And I think that's what uh, the Liverpool fans want to see from him as well. We we know he has that in his repertoire. He's able to kind of cause a bit of chaos in that final third. And I guess not many players have got that quality as well, where, you know, they're able to kind of draw in defenders and you know, I think we often forget that, you know, he is a bit of a unit and I think if he uses his body quite well, um, you know, that hold up play can be put kind of become part of his game. And I think there was um there was a chance for Gakpo in the game as well, really, really that he kind of engineered himself and that side of his pressing game I think is really improving and I've seen that improvement this season particularly under the new manager. So yeah, I think that again he's a player where he, he seems to be growing into the season and I think there are a couple of players like that in the squad. Uh, I think Gakpo, you know, every time I see him has looked bright and positive. Um I thought to Bosley last night was was good again and you know that set of midfields really helping him I, I think it every week and it's good to see these players kind of growing into the season because it I think it will hopefully be a long season for Liverpool and you know, you'd hope that they're fighting on multiple fronts and, you know, so far the the signs are, are positive that that might be the case. So you need players like Nunes to be able to to step in and obviously we don't know how long the, the Jota injury is going to be. I think it was to his ribs, so you're hoping it's not for long. But um, he is showing good signs at the moment, I'd say, Nunes, that he can step in there and, and do a job for us. I almost wonder as well with Nunes whether it possibly suits him a little bit more to play against some of these better teams. I thought going into last night's game that Leipzig might leave a bit of a space in behind to, to run in behind. It, it wasn't as quite a high line as, as what you've sometimes seen from them. They obviously adapted. I'm sure there'll be you know, times when Liverpool are able to pen Arsenal in at the weekend and you know, Brighton have played with a high line, but I know Fabian Hertzler has talked about being adaptable to, to different opponents. But you look at the run of games that Liverpool have got, Aston Villa coming up, I think that was a game that Darwin Nunez started at Anfield. I think I'm right in saying last year that was one of the, the best performances yeah. of, of the season. So it does feel to me like there's maybe a few games that, that might suit him. That's not to say that if Diogo Jota was fit that it, it wouldn't suit him as well, but it, it does feel like there's an opportunity to get a bit of rhythm really for, for Darwin Nunez. And I think that's that's possibly what he needs. He he will argue that he needs to, to get those starts and, and the regular minutes under his belt to be able to get into that form. Obviously, the, the reverse of that is that he's maybe not impressed as much as Diogo Jota when he has been given the opportunities, but you can't really have one without the other. He needs that opportunity and I think that is something that we'll probably see even if Diogo Jota does come back. There is going to be opportunities to, to rotate and he will have to you know, get time out of the team and, and he's going to have to, to rotate and, and, and be a part of, of that forward line for Liverpool. So that's definitely, I think, something to, to watch out for in the, the next few weeks. Just in, in terms of, of Darwin Nunez more generally, 
Um, I think it's fair to say this is probably a big season for him. It's the, the third season at, at Liverpool. He's come in for a, a huge amount of, of monies. As we've said, not necessarily always had you know a run in the team and, and a sustained period where he is the number nine. Obviously, we hope that Diogo Jota isn't injured for a, a period of time. But if he is and, and Nunez does get a run, is this a big period, do you think, for him? Because I certainly think at, at this point in his Liverpool career, there's, there's still question marks. And when you have come in for that sort of money and maybe not been as consistent as what you would have liked, it feels like when you do get the opportunity to have that consistency, he's probably got to take it. Is that is that a fair assessment, do you think? Yeah, I think that's very fair. I mean, obviously, he's come into his third season now. And I think that the first couple of seasons were mixed. And, you know, uh, I think the aspect of sort of what he's good at, I think I think we've seen his, his best attributes, but also he has been inconsistent. And I think finding a place within the team has often been a, a little bit of a difficulty for him. Kind of finding where he fits it, it, it was difficult for, for the last manager. And I think, to be fair to Slot, I think he... He's kind of getting a tune out of him, which is really positive. But, yeah, like you say, I mean, this is a massive opportunity for him. Uh, we don't know how long Jota might be out for. You know, maybe if he, if it's even a month, this is a massive month for, for Liverpool coming up. Obviously, it, you know, it started after uh, the international break with the Chelsea game and obviously with, with Real Madrid, um, I think, at the start of next month. So there's a lot of massive games in the middle of all that. Um you know, and he, he has to kind of start taking advantage of that. I think the best thing in games is it kind of, you know, and what Jota's great at is kind of affecting games and, you know, always being involved in that final third. And that's kind of what, what you want to see from Nunes. And I think that's kind of what the, the previous two managers have tried to sort of challenge him on, both Klopp and Slot, is that, you know, even if you don't score, you know, we kind of want to see you putting yourself about and that press inside of your game has got to be there as well. And, you know, maybe there's less emphasis a little bit on that nowadays under slot, but I think it still forms part of what we're expecting from a centre forward at, at Liverpool. So, yeah, I, th- I think, you know, it, it's on performances as well. I, I guess his goal record has been OK so far at I think he's got 35 goals so far and just over 100 appearances. So it's not so bad as, as goal record, but, you know, equally you want to see that consistency from a player. And I think, again, when you're fighting on multiple fronts, you need players you can rely on. And yeah, you need to kind of, you know, take the opportunity that, that he's been given now. And we've seen with Cody Gakpo, he can play through the middle as well. So, you know, if it doesn't work out with Nunes, does that become a question again as well? So he's always kind of got that on his shoulder uh, that he's dealing with. But I guess at a club like Liverpool, you're always going to get that healthy competition for places. And he kind of needs to put that marker down in the next month, I'd say, and and, and kind of make the position his own or kind of give the manager something to think about when when, uh, Jota eventually does come back. 